Hi, and welcome to Macy trying to get through this last little bit of the school year. It's been one hell of a ride, and honestly, I'm quite ready for it to be over. We're finishing up the last couple of things in our curriculum, and such thing is an interview. Whenever we come back, I will be interviewing my classmate, Hunter Kirkland. Man, this will be interesting. Yep. <laughs> Welcome back to Macy trying to get through the last of the school year. We're going to ignore the stuttering. So, Hunter, you said that you like to make comic books? Yeah, when I, uh, about, uh, how long was it? Probably about four years ago, I decided to write, I was going to just write a comic book, just one little comic book, just for fun. And then I used the names of my friends, and it was really, it was really bad. But um, what was cool was, I was like, I'm just gonna keep doing it. So I made a second book, then I made a third book, and then I made a fourth book that was actually over eight pages long. And then I actually decided to come up with a story for it. And this is really where my love of story making, and this is where I practice my art. This is how I've developed my art. Not saying it's good, but this is how I've developed it. I've developed a lot of a lot of skills from it. By the end, by the time I finished the book and I actually did create a finale, did basically like finish it off. It was over 100 pages long. It was about 12 books long. But that actually like really affected how I do photography because now after doing all that art, all of that, you know, making kind of run of the mill shots and wanting to make them look cooler, I started injecting different angles into what I was drawing and things like that. And so, and also gradients, because a lot of it was pen and pencil. Mm -hmm. So now with my photography, I like to make it, you know, I like to make it more of like, I, I love the hero shots. I love getting just different shots that you don't typically see, or at least that's always my goal. And I also enjoy like, you know, gradients and dark stuff. So yeah. Okay, well, that's very interesting. So we know that Marvel and DC started out as comics and they went into television productions and movies and such. The same thing kind of happened with Gerard Way with the Umbrella Academy. He had it as a comic book and it got picked up by Netflix into a TV series. Would you ever be interested in doing that with any future comic book? Well, not with the ones that I've written so far. <laughs> they would not be very good. Possibly coming up with, you know, after been probably a, a year or two since I wrote my last comic book. So I've definitely watched more, a lot more on like cinematography, but also on storytelling and things like that. That's just interesting to me. And, you know, possibly writing something, drawing something and making it a movie or TV series. I would like to do that. It's actually interesting. I don't get into the anime thing, but a lot of how anime shows come together and anime is very popular I just don't get into it but they do start out with manga which is the comic books and then they have to be so good that they can make this stuff so a lot of it you're saying you know you, you make the comic book and then you create the TV show that's actually how you create a show is you have to find or create your own comic and then have your show well that's very interesting is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap this up because it's getting kind of long and Macy wants to complete this project yeah, I'm fine with completing the project. Well, thank you, Hunter, for speaking with us. This You're has been welcome. Hunter Kirkland, my classmate. I have pretty much been learning from him this entire year. I will be sad whenever he leaves. In five weeks, he'll be finishing this program, so look out for big things from Hunter Kirkland. Thank you, and good night.